Hello, my name is David Black, and I thought that I would try out some Adobe Character Animator for this video. It seemed like a very good opportunity. What you're seeing here on the screen, besides my floating head, are some photos of my grandfather. His name was Averno Thompson Black, or as most people just called him, A.T. I grew up next to my grandfather. In fact, his house was right next door, and we had a common workshop between our two houses. This is in a very small town called Deseret in western Utah. My grandfather was something of an inventor. In fact, you see on the left the original diagram that was drawn for a patent that he created of a type of head gate that was used to control irrigation water in the canals. On the right you see a photograph of him standing by one of his head gates installed in a nearby canal. Growing up next to him, I often helped him out in the workshop working on some of his projects. He wasn't only an inventor, but he was also a general contractor, and he helped my father and my uncle build the house that I grew up in. The only thing that they had to contract out was the brickwork. Everything else, the framing, the plumbing, the electricity, everything else in the house they did themselves. He was also a cattle rancher and my family owned a ranch out in Tooele County, about 50 miles north of where I grew up. At that ranch, he basically made it just like a regular house. He had all of the comforts of home, running water, electricity, everything. We even had a telephone. This was back before CB radios or, of course, cell phones. And so to make the telephone, he borrowed some wire from the government that had been laid out for some projects they were doing, and he strung it out to the nearest ranch house to us, seven miles away, and then we had one of those hand-cranked dynamo telephones that allowed us to communicate back and forth with the Ecker Ranch House. To generate electricity, we had a series of ponds with water wheels hooked up to an alternator so that we could have electric lights, along with butane uh, lights and an oven and a refrigerator. So this ranch house literally had all the comforts of home, and we lived entirely off the grid before anybody had ever heard of this before. In other words, my grandfather was quite a creative person, but he only had an eighth grade education. I've often wondered what would happen if he had had the opportunity to go to college and get an engineering degree. The wonderful things he would have created if he'd had that opportunity. So this has become one of the areas that I am most passionate about, not only making sure that all students have the opportunity to learn and to achieve their potential, but also, one of the things I am most fascinated about is the idea of creativity. Where does it come from? How can people gain better creativity? Is it something that can be taught? Or is it some kind of innate personality trait that we're born with? I've always been fascinated by this growing up working with my grandfather. And it's something I've studied all the way since I was an undergraduate in, in college. As I began my doctoral program here, at UNC, I knew that creativity would be one of the areas I'd be most interested in following for a dissertation. As a result, for this class, for my case study class, I'm going to be looking at maker spaces and how they can enhance the teaching of creativity. Everything that I've been trying to do in all of my projects for all of my classes has been based on the idea of what is creativity, what is innovation, and how can we best teach that to other students. So this is just a little bit of an introduction, plus looks like this character animator's worked pretty well. It's kind of distracting, actually, to try to talk while I'm watching my eyes blink back and forth. But it's kind of fun. So another thing to experiment with. Anyhow, thanks for listening. Bye.